Hey, yo, E King Fight News. Gennady Golovkin reacts to Canelo Alvarez testing positive. Oh, yeah, E King Fight News. More on this. All right, you guys know what it is. E King Fight News. Let's run through some quotes. Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Of course, I want the fight. Max, you know, I want the fight. You know, Canelo, he tests positive. Ah, oh, man. I had to do it. I had to do it. He wasn't pleased about learning that Canelo was on something. I know Canelo. He doesn't need medicines or drugs or like that. You know, I just want to be the number one Mexican. And we have to keep the sport fair play. Man, I had, I had to. Okay, so... Abel Sanchez, of course, chimed in. Canelo's trainer, Chepo Reynoso, used to be a butcher. He was in the meat business. He should know which meats to avoid because of this problem in Mexico. I don't want to talk about much about it because if it's positive, it's a performance-enhancing drug for him. It's outrageous, Golovkin said. But my hope is to ensure all parties involved will cooperate in the investigation and make some more efforts to ensure boxing is clean. That's what I'm for, clean boxing. Man, Gennady Golovkin, man, he's keeping it real clean when it comes to boxing. And you know who else had, uh, you know what, Abel Sanchez really went in on the situation. Abel Sanchez went in because he was like, you know what? And shout out to Golovkin's trainer, Abel Sanchez, who also had to say, that black fighters don't sell, but that's a whole nother issue. That's a whole nother issue. Because Abel Sanchez is talking about, you know, Canelo, his trainer's a butcher. He should know this shit. <laughs> he, should, he should, he should, you know, this is someone, if you're in the meat business, I mean, just like, like, just in general, in experience, I'm in the fruit and vegetable business. I'm, I'm very ingrained in, you know, uh, processing fruits, salvaging, you know, bad lots, whatever the case, you know? And this type of scenario, you know, is a whole nother field. It's meat. So this deals with, you know, whatever they're doing to the cattle, you know, whatever chemicals are allowed, what they can get away with. Uh, you know, kind of like how in fruit and vegetable, the farmers, they can get away with putting pesticides all on these crops, the carrots and potatoes and shit. They can put all this fucking pesticide all over the place. You know, the regulations are not that strict. Uh, that's why there's this whole boom for organic foods, right? That's that's part of the big organic boom. Because it's pesticide contamination. So, I mean, I didn't know it was that bad in Mexico. I mean, honestly, most of like the majority of, of, of USA and Canada produce, that shit comes from Mexico. So goddamn, you know, I hope they're not fucking that up. <laughs> For real. I hope they're not fucking that shit up. But yeah, man, Canelo Alvarez, he's, he's got he's got to get it together, man. Hopefully, like what can he really do about it, man? He's got he's to gotta make sure his ass is covered on this. He better test him fucking this morning. <laughs> Clambuterol twice. Man, it couldn't just be one test. He tested positive twice in two days. Twice in two days. And you know what? They still haven't released the concentration levels. They keeping that shit secret, man. For real. How you gonna keep that shit secret? And you just gotta, you gotta trust that dude that did the test. He's like, you know what? These levels... This is in range for me contaminate. It's in range, man. Man, we ain't gonna buy that bullshit, man. Fucking hell's on something. He's on. He's gotta be on something. You see the way, man. I don't know, man. You guys, let me know what you think. Gennady Golovkin. That, that's his. That's his reaction to uh, Canelo Alvarez. You know, he it, also said it's terrible for the sport. You know, it's just it's not right, man. It's not right, Max. Not right. Hey, no, guys, it's not right. All right, you can't fight these. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is.